Hi guys, this is Manohar and welcome to Tutorials. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the topic problems and trials. Okay, actually this concept is completely based on the speed, time and distance. So if you haven't watched the speed, time and distance tutorial, I recommend you to please watch speed, time and distance before watching this trials concept. Okay, because if you don't know what is the concept of speed, time and distance, you can't solve the problems based on this trials. Okay, that's the reason try to watch speed, time and distance tutorial before watching this trials concept. Okay, now let's see what is the difference between this trials concept and also speed, time and distance. Actually, there is a minor difference between the speed, time and distance and also problems and trials. Okay, in the speed, time and distance, they will give like a person covering a distance of 100 kilometers or a car covering a distance of 50 kilometers, something like that. Okay, but in the problems and trials, they will give in the form of trials. Okay, now what is the basic difference when it is given in the form of car covering a distance and also train covering a distance? Okay, now I will explain you the difference by taking some examples so that you can clearly understand what is the basic difference between this problems and trials and also speed, time and distance. Okay, now I will consider one example. Okay, suppose assume that there is a train here. There is a train here. And there is a long pole here. Okay. This is the train and this is the pole. Now, the question is this train needs to cross the pole or this train needs to overtake the pole. Okay. Now, in order to cross or overtake the pole, the entire train needs to be outside of the pole, right? See this, in order to cross this pole, the entire train needs to be outside of the pole, right? Okay, the entire train in the sense, all bogies of the train needs to be outside of the pole. Okay, see here, I will explain once again. Suppose assume that this is a train and this is a pole. Now, this train needs to cross the pole or overtake the pole. Okay, now when can we say the entire train is outside the pole? that is crossing the pole that is only when all bogies of the train needs to be outside of the pole right now all the bogies in the sense all the last bogie also needs to be outside of the pole or cross the pole okay now in the sense the train needs to travel a distance of total bogies that is length of the train okay in order to make all the bogies outside of the pole train needs to travel a distance of total length of the train that is, at first, train needs to cross one bogey and second, second bogey and third bogey, fourth bogey and fifth bogey. Now, when all bogies of the train are outside the pole, then we can say the train is completely crossed the pole. Okay. Now, in order to cross this pole, train needs to travel a distance of what is the length of the train? This length of the train only, the total distance, the train needs to travel to cross the pole. Okay. I hope you are understanding. Uh, see this, try to understand this because this is the basic difference between this uh, speed, time and distance and also problems and trials. Okay, if you don't understand this difference, you can't solve the problems correctly. Okay, see here, there is a train and there is a pole here. Now this train needs to cross the pole or overtake the pole. Now when can we say the train is completely crossed the pole? That is, all the bogies needs to be outside of the pole, right? Now all the bogies in the sense, train needs to cross one bogey and second bogey, third bogey like that. All the bogies of the train needs to be outside of the pole. Right now, in order to make all the bogies outside of the pole, how much distance train needs to travel? That is only length of the train, right? Now, length of the train is nothing but length of first bogie, length of second bogie, length of third bogie, and fourth, fifth, something like that. Okay, now train needs to travel all the bogies to the outside of the pole. Okay, so in this uh, in this question, what is the total distance? That is only length of the train. Okay, in this type of questions, when the train is crossing a pole or man in the hair, okay, suppose assume that there is a pole or there is a man here, okay. When can we say the train is completely crossed the pole or crossed a man? That is, only when all the bogies of the train is outside of the man or outside of the uh, pole. Okay, only in that case, we can say the train is completely crossed the pole. Okay, in order to make all the bogies outside of the train, the entire distance needs to be the length of the train. Okay, if the train travels the length of the train, then we can say the entire bogies are outside of the pole. Okay, so whenever in the problem they say train is crossing a pole or crossing a man, the entire distance is nothing but length of the train. Okay, in this type of questions, the entire distance is nothing but length of the train. Okay, and now consider another example. Okay, this is the first example and consider another example so that you can come to an idea what is this exact difference between speed, time and distance and also problems and trials. Okay, see here, suppose assume that there is again a train here. There is again a train here. Okay, now and there is also a platform here. Okay, this is the platform. Okay, this is the railway station platform and this is the train and this is the pole. 
okay this is the same pole but in the between of trinon pole there is a platform okay suppose assume that this uh, platform length is uh, 10 kilometers okay suppose assume that this platform total length is 10 kilometers and there is a pole here and this train needs to cross the pole outside of the platform okay now in order to make this train needs cross the pole or cross the overtake the pole now train needs to first cover the total distance of the platform and then train needs to cover the total length of the train okay here what is the total distance that is first length of the train and also the total length of the platform that is 10 kilometers okay see here whenever there is a pole or a person and train needs to cross the pole or cross a person train needs to travel entire distance that is nothing but length of the train okay we can say the train is completely crossed the pole or crossed a man only when all the bogies of the train is outside the pole or man okay that is nothing but the length of the train okay that is total bogies nothing but length of the train so the entire length of the train needs to be outside of the pole or a person okay in the same way in the second case when there is a platform in between the pole or uh, train then train needs to first cover the total distance of the platform and then train needs to cover the entire distance of the train okay now in this total distance will be that length of the platform and also length of the train okay in the second case the distance will be length of the platform and also length of the train in the first case the distance will be only length of the train okay now here the basic difference you need to understand is whenever there is a pole or man the entire distance is length of the train and whenever there is a platform or some distance between this pole or train then the total distance is length of the train and also length of the platform okay in this the both lengths will be added to cover the distance okay suppose assume that in this case the length of the train is 100 meters okay in order to cross this pole or a man this entire 100 meters needs to be outside of the man okay now this total distance in this case is nothing but only 100 meters okay suppose assume that in this case the length of the train is 100 meters and length of the platform is 10 kilometers okay now what is the entire distance that is 100 plus 10 kilometers okay actually this is the basic difference between the speed time and distance and also trains concept okay in the speed time and distance there is no length for the vehicles but here there is a certain length for the total train okay that's the reason in the total distance the length of the train is also considered okay now let's solve some basic level problems so that you can clearly understand what is the basic difference and also how to use this trains concept in solving the problems okay i have written the differences between crossing a pole and also crossing a platform here so that you can clearly understand when i am solving the problems okay now let's see the first problem they are saying that a train running a speed of 60 km per hour crosses a pole at 9 seconds now what is the length of the train so we need to find out what is the length of the train okay see here a train running at a speed of that is speed of a train is 60 km per hour okay now what is the total time here crosses a pole in 9 seconds so the total time is 9 seconds here okay now we need to find out what is the total length of the train See here they have given in the question train crosses a pole here train crosses a pole in the sense the total distance is nothing but length of the train so in this case the total distance is nothing but length of the train okay now we have find out what is speed and also what is the time so we can simply find out what is the distance okay now in the answers they have given the total speed or total length of the train in the form of meters okay in the question they have given in the form of 60 km per hour now we need to convert this 60 km per hour into meter per second okay see here speed equal to distance by time now we need to find out what is the distance that is nothing but length of the train right now we have already know what is the speed that is 60 km per hour now we need to convert this 60 km per hour to meter per second because in answer they have given in the form of meters okay now how to convert this 60 km per hour to meter per second that is multiplying by 5 by 18 okay equal to what is the distance that is we don't know what is the distance so i am considering the total length of the train is l here and what is the total time that is 9 seconds okay now if i cancel this i will get 9 ones 9 to 18 and 2 ones 2 30 60 and 30 into 5 that is 150 meters equal to length of the train okay so whenever the train is crossing a pole the total distance is nothing but length of the train okay here what is the total length that is 150 meters okay first of all we need to convert 60 km per hour to meter per second okay in this kind of problems try to observe carefully in the answers whether it is given in the kilometer per hour or meter per second 
okay if it is given in the form of meter per second first of all convert this speed to the meter per second so that you can get the answer in the form of meters and also seconds okay now let's see the second problem they are saying that if a train 110 meter long passes a telegraph pole in 3 seconds then the time taken by it to cross a railway platform of 165 meter long is so we need to find out what is the total time taken by a train to cross the platform of 165 meter long okay see here there are two cases here that is case 1 and case 2 okay in the case one they are saying that train is crossing a pole okay and in the second case they are saying that train is crossing a platform okay see here in the case one what is the total length of the train that is 110 meter long okay in the first case train is crossing a pole so the total distance is nothing but total length of the train okay now this total length equal to total distance okay now what is the total time taken to cross this uh, pole that is time equal to only 3 seconds okay now when it comes to second case they are saying that train is crossing a platform okay now here whenever it is crossing a platform what is the total distance nothing but total length of the train and also total length of the platform okay here distance equal to length of train and platform okay now what is the length of the train that is 110 meters plus what is the total length of the platform what is 165 meters now what is the total distance that is 275 meters okay now we need to find out what is the time taken for train to cross the 275 meters okay now first of all we need to find out what is the total speed of the train okay in the first case they have given what is the total distance and also what is the total time now from this i can find out what is the speed of the train that is speed equal to distance by time here total distance is 110 meters and the total time is 3 seconds so this is the total speed of the train now in this case we have find out what is the speed and also what is the total distance now we need to find out what is the total time taken for the train to cross this 275 meter long platform okay see here speed equal to distance by time now here what is the total speed that is 110 meters by 3 equal to what is the total distance 275 we don't know what is the time okay now if i cancel this 5 2 10 and 5 2 10 and 5 5 25 5 5 25 and 11 2 11 5 okay now if i send this 3 to the uh, right hand side and uh, then i will get t equal to 3 5 15 by 2 that is nothing but 7.5 seconds okay in the first case train is crossing a pole so the total distance is length of the train now in the second case train is crossing a platform so the total distance is nothing but total length of the train and also total platform length okay now let's see the third problem they are saying that a train can cross a pole in 12 seconds and a 810 meter long platform in 48 seconds find the speed of a train so we need to find out what is the total speed of a train okay see here there are two cases in this question also that is case 1 and case 2 okay in the first case train is crossing a pole okay so whenever the train is crossing a pole the total distance is nothing but total length of the train okay here also the total distance is nothing but total length of the train so we don't know what is the total length of the train so i am assuming total length as l meters okay now what is the total time taken to cross a pole that is total time equal to 12 seconds okay now speed of a train equal to distance by time Now what is the total distance here? L meters by 12 seconds. Okay. Now in the second case, okay, in the second case, train is crossing a platform. So whenever the train is crossing a platform, the total distance is nothing but total length of the train and also total length of the platform. Okay. Here also distance equal to total length of the train that is L meters plus what is the total length of the platform that is 810 meters. okay now what is the total time taken to cover this distance that is 48 seconds okay now what is the speed here speed equal to distance by time and what is the total distance length plus 810 meters by 48 seconds okay now in both cases the train is same and also total speed of the train is also same okay since the speed of a train is same in both cases i am equating the both equations in the first and second case okay see here in the first and second case the train is same and also the total speed of the train is also same then the equations are equating here okay that's the reason i am equating first and second case 
In both cases, the total speed is common. That's the reason I am equating first and second case equations. Okay, so that I can come to know what is the total length of the train. Okay, see here, length by 12 seconds equal to L plus 810 meters by 48 seconds. So I will get 12 ones, 12 fours, and if I send this four to the left hand side, I will get 4L equal to L plus 810 meters. If I send this L to the left hand side, I will get 4L minus L, that is 3L equal to 810 meters. 3 ones, 3 two, 6, and uh, there will be 2 here, 21, uh, 3 sevens, 21, and 0. So L equal to length of the train equal to 270 meters. Okay, now we have found out what is the total length of the train. Okay, we already know what is the total time taken to cover the pole. That is only 12 seconds. Now we can simply find out what is the total speed of the train. Okay, see here, speed equal to distance by total time, that is 12 seconds. Now what is the total distance here? That is 270 meters by 12 seconds. Okay, this is in the form of meter per second. But in answers, they have given in the form of kilometer per hour. Okay, so we need to convert this meter per second to kilometer per hour. How can we convert this? By multiplying meter per second into 18 by 5. Okay, in this question, we have got in the form of meter per second. But in answer, they have given in the form of kilometer per hour. How can we convert this meter per second to kilometer per hour? That is by multiplying with 18 by 5. So I will get 5 ones and 5 five five is 25 and there will be 2 here, 5 four is 20 and 3 four is 12, 3 six is 18. Okay, and I will get 2 twos and 2 27s and 2 ones, 2 threes. That is 27 into 3, that is 81 kilometer per hour. Okay. That's the reason I'm always telling you, see whether the answer is in the form of meter per second and also kilometer per hour. Okay, if it is given in the form of kilometer per hour, you need to convert meter per second to kilometer per hour. Okay, that's the reason the answer is 81 kilometer per hour. Okay, and that's it for this video. Try to solve more and more problems based on these trends. Okay, the only difference between the speed, time and distance and also the trends concept is, here the total length of the train is also included in the total distance. Okay, that was the only difference and other than that, total concept is same in the speed time and distance and also total trains concept okay and try to solve more problems so that you can come to know how to solve the trains problems very easily and also faster way okay and for more tutorials like this please subscribe to the channel thank you